a season, the extraordinary, unordinary you from Simone Canego, who is with us now. Good morning, Simone. How are you today? Good morning. I'm great. Thanks so much for having me here today. I feel like, Simone, we can talk to so many different people and get different advice on maybe managing stress or feeling our best, but there's no one better than a mom, especially a mom that has a few kids that she's raising, so you know all about stress, yet you know ways for us to help alleviate some of that stress, especially during the season, right? Definitely. It is, you know, raising kids is very, it's very stressful. It is. The holidays, the most wonderful time of the year, but it it's still stressful. And so there's certain things that I've realized over my years that, that work really well. And, you know, one of the, one of the first things is I realized that we need to stop being so hard on ourselves. Hmm. We want everything to be just right. And, mm -hmm. you know, and we want our, we want to look in the mirror and think everything is perfect, right? There's no such thing as perfection, but my, there was, a few years ago, my 13 year old daughter um, made a comment to me that really kind of changed how I did things. I was getting ready for a holiday party. I had gained some weight. I wasn't fitting into my clothes and I just did not feel good about myself. And I was mumbling that under my breath. And she came up to me and she said, mom, you have to stop being so hard on yourself. You're giving me a complex. How can you expect me to love my body when you don't even like your own? That was one of those moments where I'm like, you know what? She's right. We all have these amazing gifts that we bring to the world. Why are we so hard on ourselves all of the time? Oh, that had to hit home. That had to hit home. Something that's very important to remember. And, you know, you were talking about how we try to be perfect and we try to put on this, you know, make sure everything's perfect for our kids and this perfect persona, where in reality, sometimes that comparison or that perfection can also cause anxiety and depression. And especially during the holiday season, I know that's something that you've written about as well. Yeah, it, it definitely we are trying to compare ourselves to something that not necessarily is real, right? We're seeing these snapshots, these moments in time. And instead of looking at what anybody else is doing, we need to look at the amazing things that we're doing on a regular basis because we all are. The little things we do every day, the way we interact with other people, the kindness that we show, it makes a huge difference in the world. And it really starts with loving yourself. Well, Two simple how, words. <laughs> yeah, how can people remember to love yourself? Because I think that seems like a good springboard to kind of get into a topic like this. Yeah. For me, it's daily affirmations. That's something that has made a yeah. huge difference in my life. Not something that I ever expected to be part of my life. 10 years ago, I would have said, nah, I don't think so. I don't need that. But it really has after that moment in time with my daughter, I really took a step back and said, what matters? Like, what, what do I do every day? So something that I like about myself every morning, my kids call it mirror moments. I'm looking in the mirror and saying something positive about myself so that I can start my day with a positive mindset. And it actually really works. It's, you know, people will say, oh no, it really, it really makes a difference and how we move forward. And there's always something that we like about ourselves. Some people will say, oh, I have nothing. You do. There's something. Could be your eyelashes. Could be your eyes. Whatever it is, it's it's something that will move you forward with positivity. You know what? So we're almost out of time here, but I want to make sure and get this out there. You share these tips openly. Where can people go so that they can continue to learn other ways? Even you talk about doing something just for you and how important that is here as we close. Absolutely. Uh, you can find more about me and my tips on my website, SimoneCanego.com. Oh, Simone, thank you so much. It was kind of nice to take a break of all the things to do even here in the show, just to remember those. So we do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me here today. Take care, Simone. Enjoy the season. Thank you. You too.